Uh, I thought he competed really well. Yeah, again, for some reason, the first inning, he's really struggling to find his arm slot. Um, but once he found it, he, he you know, he was he did a good job getting us into the sixth inning. I mean, he, again, like Scoglin, you know, was at past the 50 pitch mark after two innings. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking, man, uh, it's looking like a, you know, a three or four inning outing for him. But, um, you know, held the fort right there, uh, got us into the six, which, uh, you know, I was proud of him for that. He could have got through that first unscathed. If he Cam could have, yeah. Yeah, ca yeah, we catched the pop up there, but uh, it, was a, it was a tough play because it was in the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> offensively, just couldn't, couldn't find that big hit? Nah, I mean, no, we Paolo. couldn't. Paulo Paulo got the big hit, um, but, you know, Paxton really, uh, Paxton did a great job of bearing down when we got runners in scoring position, and, I mean, one for 11, it just, uh, we weren't real productive in that, in that phase of our game today. With uh, with Grimm in the eighth, uh, was the key at bat really Hanniger when he had a moment two? Once you lose him, it makes it a little bit tougher. Yeah, I mean, I, he, ma he made a mistake to Hanniger with a curveball, got the, you know, elevated a curveball, and he hit it down the line a long way, just barely foul. So I think, uh, you know, he wanted to make sure that that didn't happen again, uh, pitching carefully, and then um, elevated another breaking ball to Seeger. So. You guys had a pretty good chance in your eighth, too, first and third. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you, you know, you're thinking, okay, here we go, bouncing right back. But, again, uh, didn't work out for us. Ned, uh, did you take a little uh, encouragement from the way your starters have thrown this season? I mean, obviously you start three and seven, but no, I, you know it's crazy because I do. You know, I feel good about I feel good about um, what our pitchers are doing. I really, I really do. You know, Grim threw some really, really good curveballs today. He threw one that that he, you know he elevated and the guy hit it out of the ballpark. But um, I thought that Keller threw the ball really, really well. Hill's throwing the ball well. Keller's throwing the ball well. I mean, um, um, Grimm's throwing the ball well. Uh, Calvin's throwing the ball well. Um, you know, I think our starting pitchers have done, you know, a great job on days where they don't have their best stuff like Danny today. They continue to compete through it and keep us in ball games. So, yeah, I mean, it's the best I've felt about uh, a 3-7 and seven start in my life. I mean, I just feel good about this team. I feel good about where we're... Where, we, you know what we have, and I just think we're going to get hot offensively, and we're going to we're going to get on a, a on a run and get, you know, back back a little more even than three and seven. Ned, is uh, Keller still surprising you? I mean, this is, it seems like a, this was like the highest leverage situation you put him in so far. And he just Who's that, Keller? Keller, yeah. No, I don't think he's surprising me anymore. Um, you know, he's had all spring to do that, and and then you know early in the season, I, I think. Uh, you know, you put him in a test uh, opening day, and that's a big that's a big spot to be in. And he handled that test, you know, with flying colors and kind of just let him go. But yeah, he's handled everything we've thrown at him, so he's done a good job.